Now, your news on the go. Okay, we start your news on the go on Cornell's campus, where overnight we've learned campus police were shoved and pushed by student protesters. It comes after a confrontation at a career fair. According to the university, it happened at the Sadler Hotel. Yesterday afternoon, the pro-Palestinian protesters say they shut down the fair because it featured companies who make weapons for national defense. The man who caused a five-hour-long standoff with police in North Syracuse is waking up behind bars. We have learned that 34-year-old Giovanna Serrano came out of a home on Lincoln Road a little after five last night. He was arrested and is facing four charges. Syracuse police pumping up patrols after a motorbike rider's death has brought other riders into town. The department putting out a warning about reckless riders paying tribute at the intersection where 20-year-old Dante Slomo was hit. Right now, a memorial continues to grow in that area. As police pump up patrols, National Grid is pumping up prices. They propose rate hike bringing in people to Clay Town Hall for a hearing. Many upset that the utility wants to raise costs. If the rate hike is approved, bills could go up over $400 a year for gas and electric. Just hours before the rate hike, hearing people in Clay also gathered to share their thoughts on National Grid's plan to install high-voltage power lines tied to Micron. Costs among the main concern as adding the line would mean expanding the utility's current substation into Clay. The proposal is still under review. And speaking of Micron, construction of its Megafab campus was supposed to have started this summer, but just this week, the county admitting that the work won't begin until next fall. The delay is due to an endangered species of bat. The county says they aren't legally allowed to cut down trees that the bat may live in between March and November of next year. Let's hope the bats are swinging for the Syracuse Mets. The team is wrapping up the season with some special nights at NBT Bank Stadium. Tonight is Irish Heritage Night and Saturday. Saturday is Italian. There will be jersey giveaways at both games. First pitch for both nights is 635 and gates open at 530. Switching sports next Saturday's SU game against Holy Cross is sold out. But if you want to catch some Friday night football, there are still some tickets left for tomorrow night's game against Stanford. Kickoff is at 730.